Imagine reeling in a fish that shouldn't exist, one thought to have died out with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. But what if that fish is not only real, it's still alive today? This is the mind-blowing true story of the coelacanth, Earth's ultimate comeback creature. It's December 1938, just off the coast of South Africa. A routine fishing trawler hauls in its daily catch near the mouth of the Shalumna River. Among the jumble of sharks, rays, and other familiar sea creatures, one fish immediately stands out. It's nearly five feet long, has thick, scaly, armor-like skin, and, most bizarrely, its fins appear to be shaped like limbs. This odd-looking specimen is brought ashore, where it catches the attention of Marjorie Courtney Latimer, a young curator at the East London Museum. Latimer is captivated. She scours her reference books but can't find anything matching the fish's features. She realizes this isn't just a weird catch. It's something science has never seen before. Desperate to preserve it, she has the fish stuffed and mounted, despite protests from experts who later regret that no tissue samples were taken. Latimer then contacts Professor J. L. B. Smith, a local ichthyologist and chemistry professor with a deep interest in rare fishes. When he finally sees the specimen weeks later, he's stunned. He immediately identifies it as a coelacanth, a species believed to have gone extinct during the Cretaceous period, over 65 million years ago. The discovery sends shockwaves through the scientific world. This wasn't just a rare fish, it was a living fossil, a species once thought to be part of Earth's ancient history, now proven to have survived in total secrecy for millennia. For evolutionary biologists, this was like discovering a living dinosaur or a mammoth walking through the Siberian snow. And that was just the beginning. Now the race was on. Scientists from around the globe turned their eyes to the waters near South Africa, hoping to find another coelacanth. But for 14 years, there was silence. The fish seemed to vanish, again fueling rumors that perhaps it had already gone extinct once more. Then in 1952, another sighting, this time in the Comoros Islands, nearly 2,000 miles from the original catch. This confirmed that a small population of coelacanths had managed to survive in deep volcanic underwater caves. These areas, often 500 to 700 feet below the ocean surface, are virtually untouched by light and remain cold and stable, conditions perfect for a creature out of time. The challenge of studying these animals was immense. Coelacanths live far deeper than recreational divers can reach, and traditional trawling methods rarely caught them. Scientists began using submersibles and deep-sea cameras to observe them in their natural habitat. What they found was astonishing. Coelacanths don't swim like typical fish. Instead, they move their paired lobed fins in a way that resembles a horse trotting, suggesting an evolutionary link to the first land-dwelling vertebrates. Even more fascinating was their reproductive biology. These creatures give birth to live young, a trait rare among fish. Pregnancies can last over three years, one of the longest gestation periods known in the animal kingdom. As the scientific community rushed to gather data, one thing became clear. The colocanth wasn't just a curiosity, it was a key to understanding evolution itself. This fish had been evolving slowly, largely unchanged for over 400 million years, surviving multiple mass extinction events. Why had it remained hidden for so long? The answer lies in its habitat. Coelacanths prefer deep caves and volcanic slopes, often emerging only at night to feed. These inaccessible habitats, combined with their low population density and shy behavior, made them virtually invisible to human eyes until technology finally caught up. As the news of the Coelacanths spread throughout the 20th century, it captured not only the attention of scientists but also of the public. It became a symbol of nature's mystery, of how little we still know about our oceans, but more importantly, it became a rallying point for conservationists. By the 1980s, concerns began to grow that publicity around the coelacanth might actually threaten its survival. Fishermen, eager to claim their piece of history or to earn a hefty reward from collectors, began targeting the fish. The Comorian government, along with international researchers, stepped in to protect it designating certain areas as coelacanth reserves and limiting fishing in deep water zones. In 1997, yet another shock arrived. 
A second population of Kilikans was discovered off the coast of Sulawesi, Indonesia, over 6,000 miles from the Comoros. This discovery proved that the Kelicanth wasn't just surviving in one tiny part of the world, it had potentially survived in isolated pockets across vast swaths of the Indian Ocean. Indonesian Kelicanths looked similar but had enough genetic differences to be classified as a new species, Latimeria menadoensis. This meant that the Kelicanth lineage had not only survived, but continued to diversify subtly over millions of years, hidden in the ocean's deepest cracks. Today, Kelicanths are protected by international law, and their populations are monitored through deep-sea photography and occasional expeditions. Scientists believe there are fewer than 500 individuals in each known population, making them critically endangered. But because of their long lifespan, up to 100 years, in slow reproductive cycle, recovery will be a long, cautious process. Interestingly, modern genetic studies have added even more mystery to the Quillacan's tale. Its DNA reveals that while it's related to lungfish and tetrapods, land-dwelling animals, it's not a direct ancestor of amphibians, reptiles, or mammals. Instead, it represents a side branch of evolution, a close relative to our distant ancestors, frozen in time. In essence, the Kelicanth is a ghost of our evolutionary past, a mirror showing what life looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. And it reminds us that nature is far more resilient, complex, and surprising than we often assume. So why has the Kelicanth remained unchanged for so long? Some scientists suggest it's a case of evolutionary stasis, where a species experiences very little natural selection pressure allowing it to remain relatively the same. In the deep sea, where predators are few and environmental changes are slow, the Kelicanth may simply not have needed to change. This concept challenges a lot of what we understand about evolution. Darwin's theory doesn't demand constant change. It demands adaptation to a changing environment. And in the case of the Kelicanth, its deep sea world has stayed stable, giving it the luxury of longevity. Even its physiology is unique. The Kylocanth has a notochord instead of a true backbone, a primitive structure filled with fluid that supports its body. It also has a unique rostral organ in its snout used for electroreception, helping it sense prey in the dark. But perhaps most intriguing is the symbolism the Kylocanth now holds. It challenges assumptions. It tells us that extinction isn't always final and that the ocean may still hold creatures long thought gone. If the Kelicanth could survive undiscovered for millions of years, what else is lurking in the abyss? Could there be other so-called extinct species hiding in uncharted waters? This fish is a living message from the past, a reminder that Earth's story is far from complete. While we spend billions exploring space, over 80% of our oceans remain unexplored. The Kelicanth is a symbol of the mystery still waiting to be uncovered, right here on our own planet. Whether it's the colossal squid, the frilled shark, or bioluminescent creatures that seem ripped from science fiction, the deep sea is a frontier of wonder. The Kelicanth, quiet and ancient, swims among them as an ambassador of deep time. The next time you look at the ocean, remember the Kelicanth. It was here before the dinosaurs, and it's still here now. A creature thought extinct, hiding in plain sight, surviving against all odds. If you enjoyed this dive into the story of the Kelicanth and want more discoveries like this, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Because here on Exhilarating Discoveries, we don't just explore the world, we rediscover it.